Hello, welcome to this again. It only took a year and five months, but guess what? I'm all out of ideas! Which meant I had to look through viewer-submitted suggestions, which 99% of them consist of videos that aren't possible, videos that wouldn't be interesting in the slightest, videos I've already done before, videos other people have already done before, videos that would only be like two minutes long, or videos that are just plain stupid. This is a video that many, many people have already done before, but I saw like five people suggest it and I only have like 15 hours to film, edit, and release this video. So, I'm going to be installing a VM inside of a VM inside of a VM inside of a VM inside. So this is actually my main PC. You can see it's recording the audio to this very video. See, watch this. And now it's not recording the audio anymore. And now it is. That's going to be a major pain for me to edit later. And it's currently running Windows 11. Uh, although it doesn't look like it, I'm actually going to disable the theme right now. Alright, so I have VMware here, but I'm going to start with making a new VM of Windows 10. I already have the ISO loaded here, so... I need to make sure we have enough space for this, so I'm going to give it, uh, 500 gigabytes of storage. Don't worry, I have the space for it. Alright, customized hardware. Uh, this computer has 32 gigabytes of RAM in it, so I'll give it 16. And sure, four processors, three cores each. Yes, boot from the CD. Alright, and we're in the installer. Yep, install it. I don't have a product key. Yep, I accept. Just, yep, just install it. In nope, install it. Alright, and we're off. Yep, United States. Yep, US. Don't add another keyboard layout. I don't have internet, sure. No, I don't want that. Hello. Almost there, oh. Nice. And it's searching, oh god, it's already yelling at me about Edge. Okay, first thing I need to do is install VMware tools so that I can actually use the thing. Now, when I was testing to see if I could actually get a VM running in a VM, because my computers had problems with it before in the past, um, installing VMware tools just straight crashed the VM the first time, so, uh, we'll see if it happens again. Oh, here it is. Alright. Alright, so we now have Windows 10. Shut up! This is such a downgrade from the old wallpaper, honestly. You're not sure, we'll do woman running. Alright, now if this was connected to the internet, I would, you know, download VMware, uh, but it's not, so I have to do it manually. All right, yep, take this, put it on here. And now we have the VMware installer. Yep, give it a, give it a shot. Oh my goodness, what was going on in the taskbar? All right, it's been completed. Personal use, please. All right, now before I create a new VM, I actually have to get the ISO file, so. Windows 8.1 64-bit, please. All right, create new virtual machine. Yep, typical, that one. I will give this 400 gigabytes of storage, as well as 13 gigabytes of RAM-ish. All right, that should all be good. All right, the VM is here. Running VMware Workstation in a virtual machine will result in degraded performance. Do you want to continue? Yes. I need to turn on a certain setting. All right, one second. I need this thing turned on, I think. All right, now this should work. No 3D support is available from the host. Oh, no. Yeah, no, the performance of these VMs are going to get progressively slower. Oh. It's just starting. Okay. I didn't even click anything. It's just going. I think that's like VMware automatic setup or something. I don't know. Let's start. All right. We have uh, we have Windows 8.1 here and that's a uh, really choppy. Oh, VMware Tools is already installing. Okay, thanks. Okay, yeah, it's restarting. All right, we now have Windows 8 fully installed here, and you know, nice. Games, there better actually be games in here. It better not just be like Xbox. Why does this look like the Xbox 360 dashboard? I have an Xbox 360 dashboard in it. And how do I get out? Let me, let me out. Thank you. I don't know why this is down here. This is this is a release build of Windows 8. All right, let's get Windows 7 installed. Let's hope VMware 17 works on Windows 8. I might have to find an older version, which would be kind of problematic. Why won't it let me click and drag? Like, please? Okay, do I, am I gonna have to like copy, paste? Okay, that works. Well, I mean, it seems to be working, so. All right, we have VMware Workstation. Now I need to get the Windows 7 ISO onto the Windows 10 VM. It's still not letting me click and drag for some reason. And then I need to take this and bring it to the Windows 8 VM. All right, now I need to make a new virtual machine. 
Get the Windows 7 thing. Give me professional. I'll give it 300 gigabytes of space, as well as eight gigabytes of RAM. Okay, uh, we're down to one processor and three cores because uh, it's not letting me do anything else. Yep, I'm very well aware. Oh, right, I need to turn on AMD V. So I need to shut down the Windows 8 VM that's inside of the Windows 10 VM. Edit virtual machine settings, give it that. Okay, now we're back in the Windows 8 VM. Now I gotta open VMware again. And now I can power on the Windows 7 VM. Oh, Windows is loading files and the resolution is already too big for this window. I'm also gonna set this to light theme so it, you know, matches with all the other versions of VMware. Actually, can I just like, Oh, no. Yeah, sure, we do it like this. All right, we're copying files. Oh, the mouse gets slower every single level. Okay, yeah, I can, I can already tell this is getting unbearably slow. Okay, and of course VMware Tools is not in the drive. And of course it's not here either. Oh, you've got to be- Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's gonna take ages! Oh no! I do not feel like manually updating this, so uh, I'm downloading a fully updated ISO. Okay, now we have the Windows 7 ISO on the Windows 8 VM. Now I gotta shut down the Windows 7 VM, replace the file. That- Oh my god. I would like to boot off the CD-ROM drive. Oh, that is terrifyingly slow. Okay, it's been sitting on setup as checking video performance for like half an hour or something at this point. Uh, I, I, I don't think it's gonna get anywhere. So uh, I'm gonna just, you know, uh, oh crap, no, 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 no. Just let me shut it down, let me restart it. Okay, so if you restart, it just kind of skips that step, okay. Alright, finally! That took, um, an absurdly long amount of time. Okay, this one's actually letting me install, so... Oh, jeez Louise, there's still, like, a minimum of two more operating systems to go. I want to put Vista and XP on here, but also, oh my goodness, this is getting so slow. Okay, well, it completed, but something tells me, uh, the graphics driver didn't work. Oh, okay, yeah, it did install. We got one cinematic-ass Windows 7. I'm not even gonna try getting Arrow working. Now, please tell me VMware Workstation 17 still supports Windows 7. Damn it. Alright, we're moving on to VirtualBox. So, the only Windows Vista 64-bit ISO I have is Vista Business, with business spelt wrong. So, I guess we're using Vista Business. Windows is low... ding... Files. Oh, oh no! I don't even. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to get Windows Vista fully installed. How in the world is it having to load the loading bar? Took that long just to load the loading bar. How long is it gonna take to actually make progress? Okay, this is going so incredibly slowly that I'm going to go to a different operating system <laughs> that has much lower system requirements. The guest does not support software shutdown. Yeah, I'm gonna move to Windows XP. And then I'm stopping at Windows XP because, oh my goodness. Because if it was taking that long to just load the loading bar on Windows Vista, I don't have any- I don't have much hope for uh, anything lower than Windows XP. And this is gonna be 32-bit too. Maybe the problem was the fact that the Windows Vista ISO was 64-bit. I don't know. I don't feel like figuring it out, so. Okay, that does it. This thing is officially the slowest thing I have ever had to watch. This thing has been loading files for so long, and it takes like 30 seconds to a minute per file. If I were to continue this install, it would take like 12 hours, and I simply don't have the time for that. It's already been, what, three and a half hours of straight recording time, and my camera's SD card is running out of storage. So yeah, uh, that- that does it. I can't go any further than this. I- I, I just can't.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And thank you to my channel members: Mr. God, Rude, Figgy, Rashid, The Boy, Zachary, Cool Guy, Laughter, Jan, Tyler, Bob, Flapjacks, TNT, Ben the Gamer, God forbid, Will Mayo, Planet Gamer, Water Bar, Boki, Mr. Muffin, Jasso, MRF, Orson, Embar, Tonk, Thom, Vietnamese Cat, It's Netless, Brain Rotted, Rat, Highway 11, Lily, Solar, Teletales, 4K LG TV, Chernobyl Dweller, Midnight Wave, Erky, Celestia, Helen, and Ho, Have Through Pie, Skyblocker, Henry B, Melody, Kimmy, User, No More Roblox Player, J, Tomas, and I, Maurice. With that, I'll be seeing you.